All right, so now I'm going to teach you how to put a uh, star stitch border on a blanket. So uh, this particular swatch here, I do have a tutorial for. It is called the uh, single crochet puff stitch. All right, uh, if I remember, I'll put the link below. Otherwise, you can find that on my channel. This tutorial how to make this uh, stitch. It's just the stitch tutorial. But for this, I'm going to show you how to make a star stitch border around any blanket that you choose or anything that you want. Um, so what you need to do is, um, whenever you get done making whatever you're making, you know, whatever you want to put a border around, whether it be a blanket, or wash rag, or whatever, you need to go around and you need to evenly space out single crochets along all the way around. Now it's very important that you put three single crochets in each of the corner stitches, as you can see that I've already done that. Now not counting that single crochet, the middle single crochet in each of the corners. So here's my middle single crochet in this corner and then the middle single crochet in this corner. If we do not count those, we need to have an odd number of stitches in between on every side, not counting the middle single crochet of each corner, okay? It doesn't, those don't count. Odd in between them. And then up here, here's that middle single crochet. Don't, or, yeah, middle, middle single crochet, don't count that one. You need to have an odd number of single crochets all the way across not counting the middle single crochet over here. So it needs to be odd numbers. So when you're evenly space, spacing out your single crochet um, across, you know, to even up your edges, just make sure that you have an odd number um, in between. You put three single crochets in a corner. You just don't count that middle single crochet. You count this one as one to be an odd number for this side. And then on this side, you would count this this uh, this one here as one of your stitches to be an odd number. But the middle one never counts as an odd number. All right, it's just there. We don't count it as a stitch for now, anyways. We don't, when we're doing our odd number count. All right, so I'm just going to use a contrasting color here so you can see it better. All right, so you want to start <clears throat> in any one of your middle single crochets. Go ahead and start your yarn here. Okay, so the beginning star stitch is always different than the others. Whether you're working in the round or whether you're working it back and forth. Okay, so we're in the center, single crochet here of any one of our corners. So we're going to start off by chaining three. One, two, three. And what we're going to do is go into the second chain and draw a loop. And then we're going to go into the first chain we made and draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into that same stitch that we started our chain in and draw up a loop like that. So you can see we have four loops on our hook now. Now we're going to go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. And then the next stitch and draw up a loop. Now it takes six loops to make a star stitch. One, two, three four, five, six. So you see I have six loops on my hook. We're going to yarn over and go through all six and we're going to chain one. So like I said, the beginning one is always kind of weird. They don't always look like that. So now we're going to start what they, what they look like. Okay. So for the regular star stitch, not the beginning one, what we're going to do is the chain one that we just did. I call it the eye of the store. So we're going to go right back into the eye of the star and draw up a loop. So we have two loops on our hook. Now, this last leg of the star right here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the back loop right here of that last leg. See that? Not in the front, but in, 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 his, in the back loop of the last leg. And then we're going to draw up a loop. So now we have three loops on our hook. Now we're going to go back into the same stitch that our last leg that we just put it into. Draw up a loop, four loops. And then we're going to go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. And the next stitch, draw up a loop. And we have our six loops for our star stitch. We're going to yarn over and go through all six and chain one. So that's the that's normal star stitch until we get to the corner. Until we get over here to the corner, of course. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do it again. 
we're going to go into the eye of the star drop a loop two loops and then this last leg right here we're going to go into behind the loop behind that last leg see that so there's the last leg we're just taking the loop from the behind so the last leg can still appear on the front and drawing up a loop and then we're going to go into the stitch same stitch that our last leg is going into draw up a loop got four loops now we're going to go into the next stitch draw up a loop and the next stitch draw up a loop we have our six loops for our star stitch we're going to yarn over and go through all six chain one so this is what we're going to do all the way across till we get to the corner all right let's do it again into the eye of the star we draw up the loop into the back of the last leg we draw up a loop into the same stitch as the last leg we draw up a loop into the next empty stitch we draw up a loop and into the next empty stitch again we draw up a loop we have our six loops yarn over and go through all six chain one let's do that one more time we're going to go into the eye of the star drop a loop and we're going to go um, into the back loop of the last leg draw up a loop then we're going to go into the same stitch as the last leg draw up a loop into the next empty stitch draw up a loop and then again into the next empty one draw up a loop six loops yarn over and go through all six and chain one and repeat so we're going to repeat this star stitch all the way until we get over here to the corner and i'll show you how to round the corners out all right so coming to the corners we're going to do the corner stars they're done a little bit differently so i've made it to my three corners one two three i ended at the stitch before all right we're going to do corner star you ready that's how it's done we're going to go through the eye of the star and we're going to draw up a loop and then we're going to go in the back leg of the last star draw up a loop and then we're going to go in the same stitch as the last star draw up a loop we got four loops now what we're going to do is yarn over and go into the next stitch which is the first single crochet of the group of three in the corner and since we yarned over um that gives us the six loops that we need for our star so we're going to go ahead and yarn over and go through all six loops and chain one all right now we're gonna do that again so we're gonna go through the eye of the star draw up a loop through the back loop of the back leg of the last leg draw up a loop through the same stitch as the last leg draw up a loop we got four loops we're gonna yarn over and go into now which would be the middle stitch of the group of three draw up a loop since we yarned over that gave us six loops now yarn over and go through all six loops chain one let's do it one more time we're going to go through the eye of the star draw up a loop uh the back loop of the last leg draw up a loop same stitch as the last leg of the last star four loops yarn over and go into the next stitch which is the last stitch of that group of three draw up a loop since we yarned over that gave us six loops yarn over and go through all six and chain one corner stars all right now we're going to do our regular stars until we get to the next corner all right so we will just uh start doing the regular stars like we were before Just like that you know just like we were doing here and um don't worry if it's flipping because it, we have to do another row it takes two rows to make star stitch so if it's flipping up it's all right we'll fix it i promise i promise so i'll remember i'm just doing the regular star stitch now because we're out of the corner area and we're going to do this until we get to the next corner area just the regular old where we've been doing it. All right. So I'll meet back up with you at the next corner. 
All right, remember, it's okay if you're flipping because we're not done yet. It, if it ain't flipping, it ain't right. How about that? <laughs> well, how about that? All right, so I made it across and I did my last star and now I am at my three in the corner. So we're gonna do the same thing that we just did. We're gonna do our corner stars. So this one, this one, and this one. So let's do it again. Yarn over and go through the eye of the star, drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the back leg of the last star. Drop a loop. Yarn over and go into the same stitch as the last leg. Drop a loop. And then we have four loops. We're going to each yarn over and go into the next stitch, which is the first of the three in the corner, and drop a loop. Since we yarned over, that gave us six loops. We're going to yarn over and go through all six. Chain one. Let's do it again. That's one corner star. All right, let's do another one. Yarn up. We're going to go through the eye of the star, drop a loop through the back leg of the last leg of the star, drop a loop through the last stitch that we just worked in, drop a loop. We have four loops. This next stitch is the center uh, single crochet at a corner. We're going to yarn over and just go right into that stitch and draw up a loop. Since we yarned over, that gave us our six loops. Yarn over and go through all three and chain one. And we're going to do that one more time for this last stitch in the corner. So go through the eye of the star, draw up a loop. The last loop of the back leg, leg draw up a loop. And then to the same stitch here um, as our last leg, draw up a loop. That gives us four loops. Yarn over and go into that last single crochet of the three in the corner, draw up a loop, and by yarning over that gives us our six loops, yarn over and go through all six, and chain one. So there's our three around the corner again. All right, now we're going to do our star stitch like normal. So we're going to yarn, or we're going to draw up a loop in the eye of the star, um, draw up a loop in the back leg of the last star, go into the same stitch as the last leg and then in drop a loop in the next empty space and drop a loop in the next empty space six loops yarn over and go through all six and chain one so we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around when we get in doing the same thing over the three over the these three corner stitches and i'll meet back up here with you at the end and uh show you how we do that and then um we'll have to go around it one more time uh, to complete the star stitch so it ain't all flippity dippity like that all right so remember regular star stitch until you get your three corners do your three corner stars up here and i'll meet back up with you at a starting point all right so i come to back to my starting point now this part's gonna be a little bit weird um sometimes the star stitch is weird i don't, I don't know so I got, this is where we started right here. This is the middle stitch where we started with that weird chain, our weird first star stitch. And then we have the one right before it, which is the first single crochet in the corner. So we're gonna go ahead and do a corner star stitch here. So we're gonna go into the eye of the previous star, drop a loop, into the last leg of that star, drop a loop, into the same stitch as the last leg drop a loop so we got four loops we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch which is the first single crochet of the group of three drop a loop by yarning over we got our six loops so that is a corner star chain one now we have no stitches left right that's okay because we're going to go and we're going to work back and make a corner stitch here and we're going to work it in the same stitch that we began in so we're going to go in the eye of the star drop a loop and drop a loop in the back leg of the last star draw up a loop into the same stitch as the last leg of the last star and then we're going to yarn over and go into that middle stitch the same stitch you can see we're going into it again that we started in draw up a loop and by yarning over, that gave us our six loops that we needed. We're going to yarn over and go through all six. Now, we're going to go ahead and chain one. Okay, now this is going to be the weird part. So, 
normally we would have done three, uh, you know, corner stars around. We don't have no more stitches. That's okay. Because this weird one here at the beginning with the chain, he's going to act as a corner. He's going to act as a corner star. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to slip stitch into the chain space here of this very first star. So if you look, here is the eye of that star. Then right here is kind of like a stitch on top of it. This little dilly dally here is a chain space. Just slip stitch into that like that. All right. Now what we're going to do is that is going, that slip stitch that we did, this spot right here is going to, add, that's going to be the corner of this corner right here. So we're going to be working in the eyes of our stars. You see how the stars have eyes. That's what we're going to be working into. Now, since we got to go around the other three corners three times, there's an eye in the corner of each of those three places. Well, since this uh, began with a weirdo, weird, weird one, the weird chain space, we're going to count where we just slip stitch as an eye of, it's going to be the center one. All right. We're just, what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one. And in the center, right here, where we just slip stitch, we're going to work five half double crochets. So there is one, two, three, four, sorry, and there's five. So that's our corner. Now we're going to work two half doubles in the eye of every star. So we jump over here. You see the eye right there? Work two half doubles in it. There's one and there's two. And then we jump to the next eye right here. Two half doubles. There's one and there's two. Jump to the next eye right here. Two half doubles. One and two. And we're going to work two half doubles in the eye of every star until we get around to the next corner. And I'll show you what we're going to do when we get to the corner. And it's going to have something to do with five half doubles. All right. All right. So two half doubles in the eyes of each of these stars. And I'll meet back over here when we get over here to this corner space. All right. So I've done my two half doubles in the eye of every star. And now I'm at my three corner stars so the eye you can kind of see it if you look closely is right there of the first one and we put two half double crochets into that one there's one and two and then the center one it's kind of tight but he's right there put five half doubles in that center one one two three, four, and five. And then we have one more corner star over here. See if we can find him, right? Where is he? Right there. There's his eye. Put two in the hem. And there we go. And now we're just going to continue putting two half doubles in the eye of every star until we get to the next corner and we'll do that corner the same okay it's just that first corner that's a little bit weird a little bit different it's because of that chain but if you notice now your corners are laying more flat all right so we're going to continue this pattern all the way around two half doubles in the eye of every star and then when you get to your corners you put two, the three corner uh, stars, two half doubles in the first eye of the first corner star, and then five half doubles in the middle corner star, and then two in the uh, last corner star, and this continue with the two. And we do that all the way around back to our starting point, all right? And that's where I'll meet back up with you. And we 
get all of our half doubles made. Let me show you how to do the corner one more time. All right, one more time. If you don't need to see it, you can fast forward to me. But here we are at our three corner stars again. Here's the eye of the first one. Sometimes they're a little hard to see because we did them a little different. But just two in that first eye of the corner star. Or we put three around the corner. And here's our middle one. There's his eye. He gets five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then the last corner star. Let's find him. There he is. Two. Two in his eye. One. Two. And then we just continue around putting two half doubles in, in the eye of every star. Doing the same thing around the next corner when we get to the corner stars. And I'll meet back up with you at our starting point. All right. Hey, that looks good. All right, I've made it back to my starting point where we did the, we started with five half doubles. I'm gonna end by slip stitching into my first half double crochet. If I can find it. First half double, in. That's it, that's it. Now you can be done if you want, but I don't know. When I do Star Stitch border, you know what I like to do? That looks so good. I like to take a collar from my blanket, sorry about my dog, and go around it one more time with a row of single crochet, you know, just to edge it. But you don't have to do that, it's up to you. But if you want to, I'll show you what you, what you want, how you can do that. Um, it's completely up to you, this is optional, it's just something I like to do. But I find the, there's a group of five, our group of five half double crochets, I find the middle one. I think that's it. I hate, I don't like half doubles. I can never tell what's what. Anyways, I find the middle one and I put three single crochets into that one. One. Remember, this is optional. I'll just put like a little added thing on it if you want to. And then I go around and I put one single crochet into every stitch until I get to the middle stitch of my next corner, my next uh, group of five. And then I will put three single crochets into that stitch. And again, this is, yeah, this is just an idea. You do your border how you want. I show you, I showed you how you did do the star stitch border. You can add other stitches to it. You can do double crochets. You can add post stitches to it. You can leave it the way that it is. You can do whatever you want. It's your blanket or whatever you're making. It's your piece, not mine. I'm just showing you the star stitch border. And then I just like to do this at the end of the star stitch border. It's not necessary, but I just something you can do. Options, you know. Everybody likes options. All right. I'll meet back up with you uh, at the middle stitch of our group of five half doubles in the corner. All right, middle of the five, I think it is anyways, three singles in that middle, middle stitch of that group of five. Nope, oh, three, three in the same stitch, two, three, and then continue around with one single crochet. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do all the way around. I'm gonna do one single crochet in every stitch and then three single crochets in the middle stitch of the group of five from our previous row. All right, and I'll meet back up with you at our starting point. All right, when you make it back around, you just wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. Tie that off, hide that tail. And that's, that's it. Unless you, of course, you want to add more stitches. <gasps> that's pretty. I love it with the orange and blue and the orange and teal. <gasps> I need a blanket like that. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. That's gorgeous. 
beautiful beautiful stuff i always love the star stitch whether it be in your um project or in your border it's beautiful it goes really well with this stitch um now please if uh hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i do have plenty of things made with the star stitch i have also teach you how to do it in just the stitch itself in the back and forth method this was just to show you how to border whatever it is you're making remember i have a stitch tool for this i have tons of blankets clothes any, anything you want uh it, it's free to hit that subscribe button hit it so you can look at my hundreds and hundreds of tutorials and we do like to talk about yarn here if you like that well i don't know who doesn't but <laughs> Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys on my next video. Okay. Bye guys